Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Um, today we are continuing work on the transmission swap. Uh, I did do a little cutting the other day, um, and I wanted to kind of show you guys the progress I've made on that. Um, if you haven't watched the other videos and you don't know what's going on, um, I'm Eric. This is my Turbo S2000. We are doing the CD09 transmission swap in the car. Um, so go back, watch your videos, check those out, get caught up. Um, so yeah, the transmission is out. Uh, I did that last video. Um, I got under the car a few days ago and started uh, cutting away what needs to come out. Um, so let me show you where we're at on that so you can kind of see. I still got some finessing to do as far as the cutting and then I want to put the plate in. But uh, here we are for now. Let's get my light over here. So this is obviously underneath the car. You've got the transmission tunnel here and then you have what normally would be like this bracing that comes out much further. Um, so we've got to get rid of some of that. Uh, again, you can use a big hammer, beat the hell out of it. Me, I just, this steel is a lot sticker, uh, sticker, holy crap. Uh, this steel is a lot thicker than you would assume. When you look at it, uh, for me anyways, I just thought it's kind of, it's hollow, which it is, but I just kind of expected it to be a little thinner. After seeing other people beat theirs in with a hammer, I'm like, oh, that probably won't be too bad. But the freaking metal is actually pretty damn thick, and it's really, really hard. So beating it with a hammer, to me, would have been very laboring. Just cutting this out was more than what I expected. It didn't cut as fast as I thought it was going to cut. Uh, it wasn't as breezy as I thought it was going to be. Lots of sparks in the face. Holy crap, the light. Uh, lots of sparks in the face. Um, just, Yeah. But anyways, the main portion of it is cut. So now I think I want to take, I'm trying to move to where I can see and point and talk. So much, I need a lift. I need a freaking lift. Uh, I want to take this and I think I want to cut it a little up and then take the rest of this out to here because, and then I kind of want to do the same with this. So I'm good here, I'm good here. I mean, I'm going to hammer this in, I think a little bit more just to kind of flatten that lip down. Uh, I want to cut this in a little bit here, I think, uh, and this, and then maybe lap this over. I don't know, I want to do a little more trimming because I want to have more than enough room. If I'm doing this, I'm doing this. You know, I want to have as much room that way uh, when the motor is running and everything's loaded up, I'm not, you know, moving transmissions and banging around and hitting on the sides or bumping on any of this, causing vibrations and weird noises. I don't want to hear none of that. If I'm doing the work, let's make it worth it. Um, also, there's a spot up here I think you have to bang in, which even the stock trans has hit it before when pulling it. You can kind of see a spot there. Uh, and then the same thing over here. I'm going to lose this heat shield. Uh, talked to another guy. He said he just took his off. It gives you a little more room here because this actually takes up quite a bit of space here. So I'm going to take that off as well. And then that's pretty much making it ready time or making it, uh, making it almost time to start test fitting the trans um call me crazy but i have not test fitted the trans i just went ahead and started cutting this out because i already know that has to happen before going through all the trouble of setting the transmission up so that's what we're doing guys gonna cut the rest of this out gonna kind of finesse it trim it uh, i'm gonna get some steel and i'm gonna basically block this in Kind of like, I don't know, this, maybe fold this in, fold this in. I don't know. I still have some fab work I want to figure out here and fold, block this in. That way I'm not getting water and crap down in there so it can rust or seize the bolts up. And I don't know. I just feel like that's a better way to do it. Uh, and again, I've never done this before. So I'm going off uh, help from other boosted homies and uh, common sense. So hopefully that works out in my favor. Um, yeah, let's get after it. Oh, also, I'm going to get the plate out and uh, get it stuck on the back of the motor and then show you what that looks like. I probably need to move my exhaust over a little bit. I feel like it's probably going to touch the plate. But luckily, it's on a V-band because V-band uh, for the win. Love V-bands. And maybe I can, like, pivot the exhaust a little bit this way to open up a little extra space. And, yeah, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so we've been uh, hacking and cutting and trimming. Um, I actually ended up cutting some small steel plates, welding them in, seam sealed, painted and everything. So here is the tunnel. This is the finished product. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Turned out pretty good. Um, 
If you see it kind of looks boogery and gross, no, that's not my welds. Sorry, the camera's not picking it up. And I'm laying on my back trying to talk, can't breathe. Uh, yeah, see, like it looks boogery. That is not my welds, uh, that is seam sealer. So, if you don't know what seam sealer is, they usually use it to fill in like body gaps and stuff on cars for auto body. Uh, I mean, that's basically the same stuff as what all this other stuff is in the car. Like, oops, uh, like here, that'd be seam sealer and stuff. So, I got a buddy that does auto body. He hooked me up with the, the good uh, factory auto body shop stuff. And yeah, um, plenty of room. Like, if you can see here, that's the trans tunnel now. We got tons of room more than enough space it's not going to be touching rubbing buzzing making noise uh yeah i'm happy with it i'm happy with it um i still think this is the way to go over beating the shit out of it with a hammer um that steel was much thicker than i anticipated being uh the cutting was slower than i thought it was going to be it just definitely i think this is the way to go um obviously chopping up your car is not for everybody um but that's the only way you can get this transmission in this car and yes, they do have other options. Um, I thought about doing the BMW ZF trans swap, but they're not any quieter than the, the CD09. Uh, and again, like I said, I just got a, I got a good deal on the kit uh, secondhand, and a brand new transmission is available at the dealership, easy to get and pretty affordable in comparison to what brand new transmissions uh, prices are. So I went ahead and bolted up the inline pro uh, plate the adapter plate um, it's got three bolts here at the th or one two three there to bolt it to the block and then it also has bolts down here that will bolt it to the block as well once you put the trans in it'll run through the plate and pull tight on the bottom of the block so if you guys have never seen uh, the adapter plate or how it works this is it and this is actually this will do the uh, 350z trans the CD09 and the 370 trans which is the gay gay train JK trans um, and also, if you're doing this, uh, do not forget your dowels. Uh, take, the tran take the dowels out of your transmission, your guide dowels. Um, you got one here, and you got one up here. You need to put those back into the block, and then put your plate on, and have those dowels there so they keep everything lined up and keep it from moving, because obviously the bolt holes aren't perfectly machined to fit the bolt. So you're going to have a little play there, and just that little bit of movement is, I would definitely say, not good. Uh, yeah, so my exhaust, um, I had full exhaust on this car, or I have full exhaust on this car, and then I had uh, the I have the full HKS high power single, and it runs all the way back to the back of the car, and then right here in this section it had a resonator, so it was it was really quiet. Like for a single, it was very quiet. I liked it at first, and now it's kind of like once I put the turbo on it uh, years ago, it really uh, it just got obviously the turbo quiet and the exhaust down even more so it's not loud like you can hear injectors clicking when it's idling that's how quiet it idles so I want a little more rowdy a little more noise but I don't like open because I've been doing this for a little bit just open dump pipe while I was waiting to finish this out and it's fun for a little bit it's kind of nice to have the noise probably be more likable if it was shooting it out the fender or going out the hood probably not the hood because I don't want that crap blowing back on me and on the windshield and all over the hood and stuff but if you did it out the fender or if you did maybe a dump out the side but just having it right underneath the car underneath the cabin I mean it's pretty damn loud uh, so yeah what I ended up doing was cutting out the resonator and then I just finished welding this up and I just welded a pipe in its place and if you look way right over there let's see there's the resonator up on my work jumps. Uh, yeah, so I cut it out. I'm gonna keep it just in case, but now I'm deleting the resonator So that should get some some noise in the car uh, and put it out the back through the HKS tip But not be stupid loud, but you know race car stuff. You still here. It. It's gonna be I think more fun um, So I have v-band exhaust all the way back And we did I did this when I did all my turbo setup So there is a v-band clamp and then it comes down here, this ugly piping, but whatever, it's exhaust, I don't care, you can't see it. I did went ahead and dented in the exhaust just a little bit right here, just to make sure I had some room. Obviously it's loose now, but it's not, like, it's not going to touch. Um, I got to get this bolted up back here, right, and guys. then we'll see. Still under the car, just finished up. The exhaust is on, yay, all the way out to the tip. Don't look at my welds, um, I'm not a fab guy, but uh, yeah. Full exhaust is on, nice, and she's solid. 
no shaking, no banging, no touching. All that is great. So very happy with that. Um, again, everything looks good here. Well, as good as uh, chopped up, beat up, smashed in, gross boogery. You know, as good as a molested transmission tunnel can look. So yeah, and I even painted it. I have a paint match paint to the body and I put just like one light little coat of clear coat on it through a spray can just to kind of keep out any nasty rust, whatever, just make it look a little, little cleaner, a little nicer. So yes, yes, excited to be done with that part. That's probably honestly the hardest part of this whole thing. So again, to recap, if you're trying to do this, I highly suggest probably just go in this route instead of swinging a hammer for hours and hours because that steel is much thicker than it appears and it's not going to move uh, it's not going to beat in as quickly as you would anticipate and then obviously now I have more than enough room because you can still beat and you got to remember too the motor and transmission is going to move around um, and once you're touching you're going to have noises on top of a transmission that's already kind of noisy so yes 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 looks good very happy with it Ugh. happy I got that done that's a big big step also getting the exhaust back up hell yeah that's nice um, what I'm probably going to do too is I think I'm going to order Dynamat and just go ahead and Dynamat the inside of the car. Uh, not do the underside because it's kind of nasty getting it to stick to that. You know, I just, and that stuff's not super cheap, so having to come off, I don't know. Maybe it won't, I don't know. Um, I'd rather just do it in the car, pull the carpet back and just do the whole floor with Dynamat and around the trans tunnel just to kind of make any noise I can uh, keep it at bay. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to wrap the video up. I'm happy to get that far um, over the weekend. That's basically, I spent Saturday doing the transmission tunnel work and pretty well got it all done in six hours, something like that. Again, that's not like going crazy lightning speed and I'm also like designing and figure out how I'm going to do this as I'm going along. So uh, I hope that helps anybody that's trying to do this, gives you kind of a game plan which you can do if you want to go this route. So again, thank you guys for watching. If you didn't subscribe, please subscribe, uh, like the video, comment on the video, share the video. Uh, normal YouTuber stuff. So we'll see you on the next one. Peace.